Ladies and gentlemen, my name is John Schmidt, and I wanted to take a few minutes to speak to you tonight about some of the mail you've been receiving from my opponent. First, I'd like to remind him and you that West Orange is a, quote, nonpartisan town, which simply means my opponent and I both run as independents. We have this form because we feel it's in the best interest of our community that we do not get party and partisanship involved. Uh, some of the things that are being said in these mailers, I think, really should be addressed. The first is that somehow I'm opposed to senior citizen rebates. This is preposterous. For the last 12 years, Mr. Parisi has sat on the council and raised taxes on seniors every single year. Our tax rates have gone up just on the municipal side 77% since he's been on the council. For the last 10 years, I've worked very hard to get our tax rates under control. His record is clear and so is mine on the issue of taxes. In addition, I'd like to talk about the issue of, of full-time kindergarten. Uh, I completely support the notion of full-time kindergarten. West Orange budget has so much fat, supervisory, administrative, and non-instructional fat, that I think we can make meaningful cuts in our course without touching a single classroom teacher, K through 12. What these tax tactics are is nothing more than an attempt to distract you, the voter, from what the real issues are. The real issues are we are one of the highest taxed towns in the highest tax state in the United States. The other issue, of course, is the issue of pay to play. Uh, my opponent is uh, fully involved in the culture of pay to play. And if I'm elected, I will immediately get rid of that so that you, the voter, know that you're getting the best uh, professionals, the best uh, effect for the dollars that you spend. The third is my, my opponent has a disastrous history on redevelopment. The battery building on Main Street was once a thriving commercial center. It's now a wreck. It's a hole in the ground. When I took this on two months ago, I knew that this would happen. I knew that my opponent had a record which was so disastrous, so negative for the future of our community, that he would have to run these kinds of ads. I have nothing to do with the Trenton politics. I have nothing to do with what goes on in the legislature or what goes on in the governor's seat. I am here to represent you, the people of West Orange. We cannot go on like this, ladies and gentlemen. We cannot go on with an administration that taxes and spends every year that makes you poor. I think my record is clear. When I decided to run, I decided to run on my opponent's record. My opponent cannot run on his record because it's so disastrous. So he has to resort to these distracting gimmicks in order to confuse you, to take you away from the real issues at hand. He treats you like a young child who can be easily distracted from what we really have to think about and what we have to do here. I am confident in the voters of West Orange. I believe you're intelligent enough. I believe in your judgment. I believe in your understanding of the issues so that on, on Tuesday, May 11th, you will vote for a real and fundamental new direction for our community. I sincerely believe that four more years of what we've had for the last 12 is totally unacceptable and it will make our, our community a place which none of us can live, whether it's middle class families with children or whether it's seniors, none of us. So on May 11th, I look forward to seeing you at the polls and I trust that you will do the right thing and change the course of our town. Thank you very much.